Well, Starsky and Hutch kind of, um, I mean, we kind of bent the rules a little bit. I mean, there would be a tremendous brawl, and Paul would slide a guy across the bar, jump on him, be sitting on him with his huge guns that they carried. And Hutch would say, Dave, and he would go, oh, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> I mean, the guy is half dead going on. And we also did many offbeat stories. We did a story in Starsky and Hutch. I mean, we always had the underlying crime story. But what really made it was all the side stuff we did. We had a story where Starsky kept seeing this big dog. When we would look, we would see the big dog. He would like see this big dog, and he wouldn't notice. And we'd go somewhere else, and he'd see it, and he'd say, Hutch. And he'd look, he'd go, what? He'd go, what? And you look, there was no dog. We did that through the whole show, never answering what the dog was. We did another show where um, uh, one of them had a toothache through the whole show, and that was all. We did another one where they arrested a guy and never had the time to take him back, so he was in the car with them the entire um, time. And we did some, some touching stuff, too. We did, I mean, this hadn't been done. In, in, also, we had that car. The car was, we had a deal with Ford. They supplied all the cars for all of our shows. But our transportation guy decided to get a little hot with this car. It was a Ford Torino, a standard Ford Torino. We gave it a special paint job, red and white. And we put big balloon tires on it. By the way, it was still a Ford Torino. It could do none of the things that we had it do. But nonetheless, there it was. Ford calls us about three, four months after the show was on. They say, people are coming in, guys, young guys, in the Southwest and the West. They want to buy the Starsky and Hutch car. What is it they want to buy? And we showed them that it was just a standard Torino that we put this stuff on. They made it up, and they sold a ton of them. It was cool. And, uh, but these guys became, they became very real to the audience, guys you could hang out with. And I say, we did enough off-cop stuff, so there's one episode where Starsky's girlfriend gets killed. They catch the bad guys. The tag of the show, they're in the apartment. They're both drunk. And one of them says to the other one, you know what we should do? This is enough. Let's quit. You're right. Let's quit. What are we going to do? Anyway, they decide they're going to go play in the Canadian Football League. He gets on the phone. I want the name of the, the number of the Canadian Football League. He calls some team. And they're that far out. And then he hangs up. He says, oh, well, they said we got to go up there and see him. And he looks over at Starsky, and Starsky hugs him. He says, I really miss her. And people didn't do that in cop shows, in any shows, really. I mean, that had cops and robbers in them. And that's why the guys, you know, became such uh, an instant hit all over the world.